today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a beat with Mixcraft. Um, uh, I'm going to continue this series with how to make a song, uh, how to make uh, some other uh, uh, sound styles in Mixcraft is uh, sequencing software. And um, I don't know, today I'm going to start out with how to make a beat. This is, uh, that's the Mixcraft logo right there, the Mixcraft icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click. It's a mix, Mixcraft splash screen. And here we are, we're in Mixcraft. So, how to make a beat in Mixcraft. Um, okay, first of all, we're going to insert here a sound or uh, an instrument clip. Well, I had to add instrument clip, so I right clicked and then I'm going to click uh, add instrument clip. And uh, that gives us these bars down here and the little piano beside them. Well, we're going to select an instrument. This, this little button right here. Uh, you click instrument, and uh, you know, one way you can make a beat is to use some drums. Okay, so I'm gonna just select the drum. Then we get these this list of drum options, and so uh, what I'm gonna go with for the drum is the power kit, which um, uh, it sounds uh, sounds pretty powerful. So I'm running cursor across the keyboard right now on uh, on a click and drag, and these are the drums that I have. Okay, so. Um, you know, how how people make beats, uh, especially break beats, which is what I make mostly, is to uh, you start with a low sound, so like a kick drum, basically. That's a pretty low sound right there, so uh, that will serve as the kick. Okay, so um, you have uh, one kick drum. Okay. Bye. Put that there. Um, you see, you have. Uh, you can use uh, the middle square or um, uh, the middle of the key here, but um, sometimes people they prefer to use uh, the three quarter. Um, I don't know. It, it's like halfway between the uh, the middle and the next uh, beat. Okay, each of these lines at the top represents a beat. So one, two, three, four. This is four beats right here. Okay, so uh, this is saying on the first beat we're gonna hear that drum. Um, right after the middle uh, by half uh, to the next beat we're gonna hear this drum and then this drum will come on the third, uh, the third count of the beat. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and then the, that four is a completion. So that sounds like this. Uh, up here we have a play option, so we click play, and this is what we get. Uh, for like drum and bass, uh, it's over. Uh, 150 beats per minute so into this box we might put 150 and hit enter and that's gonna give us that uh, which is just a little bit uh, higher tempo beat and then uh, we can go back to the sound here which is uh, this tab right there okay so we click the sound tab and um, the on the uh, second beat, there's um, well, it's a snare drum, so it has uh, it's a little bit more treble. 
but um, no, it's not really so much a high sound. It's um, it's a it's um, it's not it's not so high a sound. It's it's mostly in the mid range, and uh, a lot of times people will sequence those uh, so that they are on the second and uh, possibly the third beat. Okay, so um, I don't know, this being that's a pretty typical configuration for a break beat. Um, they can also be configured like this. Okay, so these are a couple of the ways that you can arrange a beat. Um, I don't know, there's, uh, there's other options, like you can do this. You know, basically, um, you can do anything with the breakbeat, just as long as you, um, you arrange, like, some type of, uh, you know, you give, uh, you give your, your beat some, some order. You know, basically, um, know, this is what's important, really, is that, um, you know, you have, like, uh, some measure for, uh, the two low beats, and then some measure for the, uh, two mid-range beats. And, uh, I don't know, let that be somewhat maintained. Now, you can, uh, if you use this zoom out tool, you'll make these smaller, so you'll be able to fit more in there. Right now we have, like, uh, eight beats out to here. Okay, what you might do is use a combination of the two that, um, I don't know, this one starts on the three-quarter, and then this one up here starts on the half. And again, after you have uh, this little layout, then you can adjust it a little bit to Put an extra beat in someplace, and then what you might do 